Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome to my brand new playthrough of Starfield. Now this is a big one I've been really looking forward to as I'm a big fan of sci-fi games, movies, and general knowledge of astronomy and space stuff overall, as well as a big fan of Oblivion and especially Fallout. Now this series is going to be focusing on playing immersively, constantly trying to do new and interesting things, but also taking my time to soak in the atmosphere where applicable of the many worlds that we're going to be visiting. Now the series will be initially heavily edited to keep up a brisk pace but not skipping over anything important just the tedium the small minor things things that i'm figuring out stuff it allows to move the story forward and unlock the game's full potential a little bit quicker i'm playing on hard but i may bump up the difficulty as i haven't found it too challenging as of yet so we'll see what you guys think now i'm also playing on max graphics at 1440p so the game should look its best and i'm using a mixture of controller and mouse and keyboard depending on what i'm doing so, it's worth mentioning, if you become a channel member, you also get early access to videos as well as other perks, but as this is a series that's a little bit different from my channel, a like on the video is very much appreciated, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more. Alright, without any further delay, let's begin! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, excited to get started. Argos Extractors Mining Outpost, a moon of Vectera. And we are live in the game, but I actually can't move right now. And I've played the first couple minutes, adjusted the settings and things, so I know that Lin here is going to explain the situation and kind of tell us what's going on. This initial starting area is going to have them talking a lot, so I'm just going to kind of stay quiet. Last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lin. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Just like YouTube. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very mm. helpful. Thank you. Ah, eh, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. Shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits are not rickety details here. Well, Hell, after this, we'll tight. have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about They don't make it to their uh, second uh, shift. The the shift. <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. I'm not exactly sold on the stability of this elevator. Alrighty, here we are. We're free to move. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Wow. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Let's see where we came from. It's quite a long ride. Right. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. It looks so and cool. I'll be, you know, the aesthetic of the game is just awesome. So into it. Yeah. That sort of grounded, not too far in the future look. Just love it. Know what I love about working in Freestyle Collective Space? Pure rain. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. It's going wild on that wall. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! It'd be, it's not a sled It'd be awesome if he was actually just smashing it against the rock. Because <laughs> he wasn't really using it like a sledgehammer. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, There's a big vein over there, man. Oh, man, I love seeing, like, little futuristic machines like this. Especially when it's, like, bespoke built for a certain job, like in the future, on a specific planet. Sort of like the Harvesters in Dune or something like that. This is a machine dedicated to one specific job, you know? Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Alright. 
deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out what I need to. Another one would be Avatar. There's like these specific uh, whaling machines that help lift the whales to the surface so they can kind of harvest them. The Alright, let's get cracking. Oop. Uh, <laughs> I've turned off my crosshair, so bear with me while I just, you know, gauge it. It's all I'm all about immersion. Alright, that's the last one. Get back up here. Come on. It's time. You're with me. Alright, let's go. Got more machines down here. I say that about machines. I mean, they are basically just what we have now, <laughs> to be honest. They're not doing anything that crazy, but... It's so cool the way they've scraped out this cavern here. I gotta say, the animation quality is really good. Not just of the uh, machines, but the people themselves. Didn't kind of... Didn't quite expect that from this game. Yeah, that machine's a bit more bespoke, or at least, I guess it's just more futuristic with the big kind of tire tread track things. Hella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. Hmm. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. I don't buy this. Oh, <laughs> Heller's rightfully sus. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. And she seems to know more than she's letting on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Could have this. been to watch his language. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes what? wrong in there. We'll come get You'll you. come get me? Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Oh Both man, she... Do your jobs. Client is she's on sending way. me to die. God, just send in the rookie, I guess. Oh wow. Oh, it's actually not as deep as I thought. I thought it was going to be a huge ravine. A little rock bridge climbing over. Alright. Flashlight on, off, no problem. Let's just go towards the strange gravity thing. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Thanks, Heller. I've changed my mind about him. Do you see anything? Hmm. Okay. Tiny Minecraft cubes. Oh, oh, that's cool. Use the cutter to break up the mineral deposits. Okay. That seems safe. Take the strange object. All right, let's let's do it. What could be wrong with that? You know, I don't need to ask her, should, hey, can I touch this? Just grab it. Oh, it's the MacGuffin. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still <laughs> Just start, <out>. like, <laughs> drooling, like... You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh, right. Character creator. Yeah, so I'll just, you know, make a character here, and I'll probably, like, uh, skip it or time-lapse it or something just to show you guys, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah, so I think I'm set on the professor background. It says, You always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As humankind spread throughout the stars, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. We have starting skills of astrodynamics, geology, and research methods. Advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capability out of a ship's grav drive. We then have newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. And by skillfully employing both new and time-tested methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insight. 
Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other humans. Systems will automatically repair themselves to full health when they're damaged below 50, sometimes... Wanted. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. That's awesome. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Taskmaster one to do with repairing, because it seems to be... it doesn't seem to fit the introvert. Whereas hero worship seems pretty funny. An adoring fan will show up randomly and jabber you inc incessantly. That's right. I forgot. The professor. You were really out of place when you first showed up. That's what I was trying to tell people. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? I like the idea I can make up anything here, really. But I'll, I'll just tell the truth. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Yeah, definitely. Either way, we got what we were looking for. Well, I'm glad it was worth All almost losing my mind. Stupid thing. Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... It's a kind of nice text of tone. Let's check it out. Third person, there I am. It's basically what I look like in real life. I'm a... 30-year-old white bald man, but I'm not that guy who uh, has kind of gone viral playing the game Our recently. I don't even mention who it is. Wait. What do we got here? Hey, med packs and stuff. This is where I was sleeping. Looks very comfortable. I'm probably going to want to explore around a little bit here. Are we in a ship? Or No, we're on an outpost, right? Yeah, but I sh they're also talking, and I kind of want to listen to what they're saying. Oh, it begins yeah. so many distractions of things to pick up. Exploring space? Who does that anymore? I'll be back in a second, guys. Back in a second. I'm just gonna have a quick look around. Oh, looks like they're brewing. Well, it's probably filtering water or Whoa. something. You don't look good. Oh, well th oh, thanks. Thank you. You're not exactly an oil this painting yourself. A good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Cheers. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rifle through everyone's lockers, just... I've misplaced something. <clears throat> Speaking of, what is... this? Credits. Oh! So that's what money looks like. Good to know. <laughs> I just took it out of her <laughs> locker. Hello. You alright? Need some coffee or something? Excuse me. Got a do you? Do, why somewhere. do I look tired? Again, I'm just looking for some stuff in these lockers. Don't mind me. Iso centered magnet. <laughs> we got a little bathroom. The orchid merchant. I love you, said the orchid merchant. Da, 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 da. It's become one of the fastest selling romance novels in the Settle System's history. Plunger. Yeah, been there, man. Been there. You fitting in okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but... Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take this close. tablet. I'm sure there's nothing important on it. Probably gonna leave the globe there, but I really do want to take it. I don't know why. Alright, let's continue. Alright, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Alright. I've been practicing the inventory, so I wonder does that mean if you take off the helmet, do you actually like start dying? I guess we'll find out. Alright, we're leaving the vault. I feel like, uh, <laughs> actually it does look quite good, but I was going to say these moments are almost too self-aware, right? They, they put them there, it's like you have your big walkout moment, but it does look good. Big railgun on top of that building, it looks like. Or antenna. Oh shit. Planet. We, oh yeah, we're a moon. Did say that. Oh my. I feel it. Like <laughs> the thrusters are pointed right at us. That's cool. It's not that old. It's a classic. I can barely hear her. Good thing we had the subtitles on. Damn. That looks good. I'm gonna name my ship the Endurance. Shout out, if you know the reference. Uh, 
Uh, it's so eerie. The wind sounds and everything. The sound design's really good. Really, really good. I think it's what stands out the most, actually, out of everything so far. Hello. <laughs> Barrett. Barrett. Tifa. Yeah. Been a long time. Look at this little guy. Yes, it has. He's got no torso. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare oh my god, she's just holding the thing. Your tastes are a bit more Is it not powered on anymore? Huh? So, you found something? Right here. Oh, yeah. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Mm. Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Hey! <laughs> it wasn't nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, yeah, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. You should see that toilet. Um. <laughs> hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing or you ever again. Wow, Lynn. Is That's why I like you, Lynn. Short. They're short. The scanners on the frontier are Ooh. reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I um, really thought I lost them. Got a little combat, do we? Where are we? Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Hold off the pirates, grab a weapon. Alright. Just have to see how we can... Oh my god, they're here right now. All right, just bear with me. Open up inventory. We go to weapons. Let me just um, use my mouse, actually. So, a uh, little pistol here. We'll put it in quick slot one, so we can just quick swap to it. Going to use a mouse for the combat, and then use kind of controller for expiration. Um, yeah, we'll assign the med pack. Maybe put it in number three, so we can actually use it just with the click of a button. All right, let's do this thing. There's like two songs playing, or something, is there? Or is that the alarm? Oh, this thing sounds so weak. Alright, easy peasy. Oh yeah, let's just grab their weapons. What am I doing using this trash? All right, so just have to um, hop into the inventory and go find this. So weapons, furious modified maelstrom. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. A little bit better. Only 22 bullets though. Actually, you gotta be careful. Let's come over here. Oh, it's like really. It's like a little SMG, is it? I thought it was more like an AK. I don't know, man. This feels really weak. Just weak to fire. It's doing fine damage. What do you have? Maelstrom again. Get the hell away from me. Oh my god. I'm not reloaded. Bob and weave. There we go. Alright, just bear with me. I'm feeling things out, you know. This is my first combat. Let's try the axe. Oh my god. Your health is low. Right. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Alright, let's just... Finish off that guy. Use this guy as a shield. He's just laser cutting him. Wow. Dead space. There's one guy over there. There we go. Alright. Wasn't super clean. I'm feeling it out. I'll get get a little bit better. I just need to kind of learn weapons and swapping and how things feel, really. Let's just go loot these guys. Alright, I think that's the last guy. So, I've just after picking up, like, armor and things, and I just remembered, like, oh yeah, this is a Bethesda game. We have armor that we can actually try on. <laughs> it's kind of refreshing. Not to be skins or characters and stuff. It's just stuff that I find that I can wear. So, that's cool. We've got the backpack, and I've heard that you can get, like, boost packs and fly around and stuff, so I haven't picked anything up like that yet. Alright, let's head back over to our friends. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. That's good. There was actually one dead miner I saw. Of course, Barrett. Well, that was some fine work Oop. on the pressure. 
They're both talking. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. Okay. You're part of this now. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. If you get me off this damn moon, then sign me up. Nothing wrong with honest work. Although, um, uh, yeah, yes. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. I mean, I can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. We're just like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the mine? Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Oh, okay. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Hmm. Well, thanks. Just go. Before I say something I regret. What did I do? Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the wow. time. Wow. Smartwatch. Really are in the future, aren't we? Watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Uh, yeah, I've got loads. Like, um, who are you? <laughs> Why am I leaving on my own? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown. Okay. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. And the ship? Just it's mine now? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Okay. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. What if I'm just lying about the vision? I'll leave it at that. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> yeah, like, I, maybe I've Still never flown piece. a ship before. Doesn't any of this matter? <laughs> And the ship looks good. And Vasco's little hoppity hop run. He looks so cheerful the way he's hopping along. Like he can't wait for an adventure. <laughs> Goodbye, base. Ramp, Goodbye. In the external robotics bay. It I don't know what I'm doing. The new of the I'm the new captain. Just like that. It's there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, he knows how to say my name. That's cool. Yes, man, the details. That's what it's all about, man. I will attempt to boost the shields. Yeah, even when you get really close, the detail, the resolution stays really high. That's that's good. Uh, Barrett's personal sleet. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no Assuming dalliances. We can exit, in right? short, no fun. Yeah. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, that deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I like when I games. Guess I'm still oh. technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. I was gonna say I like when games let you do things while audio logs are playing. It's crazy when certain games don't let you do that, but I know it's a bit that's the classic thing anyway, but. Just good to see that we can leave it running while we look around our ship. Now, I actually perform better as an introvert without other crew members, so I wonder, are we at a disadvantage not having people in the other seats? I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at this. This is fucking sick. <laughs> Alright, let's go. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> All right.
Alright, I have assumed the controls. I'm actually um, using a controller while I'm in space anyway. I've heard that it's much better in the vehicles that way, so... That we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls yeah, and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. That would be good to ensure I that. I step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just... Right. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do this tutorial, way. and if it's boring or something, I'll just skip ahead. Got boost. Boost actually lasts a pretty good amount of time. All right, I think I've got it. Turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice shield power is maxed power out. We have just three bars for that, shields so not much. The ship from hull damage without a hull. And I guess on the right, that's our shield value, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah. I've noticed the UI of the computer in front of me actually reflects like what I'm doing, even where I'm thrusting, how I'm angling and moving, so that's really cool. And uh, it's also good for you guys, you get to see specifically what I'm doing, right? Even on the mach the sort of computer you can tell what my input is. Oh shit, here we go. Straight away, let's just start firing like crazy on it. Oh shit, alright, pulling power back away from the engines, onto the lasers. Let's start firing on it. Okay, lasers for shields makes sense. I was just doing that anyway. <laughs> shields are gone, I think, already, are they? So we'll go up to ballistics. And there we go. Oh, yeah, we missed all. Sweet. Ah, super easy. Look at this. Easy. Oh, my God. Get out of the way of the debris. Oh, my God. Just shred the cockpit here. First starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to find close e ease to her it in before we can access the remains. float up to this uh I guess little loot box here. Whoop. I still can't reach it. Can I get it now? What? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Just bump it a little bit like, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. That's ridiculous. Why do you have to get so close? Alright, now what? I felt pretty good. I like the different systems. We have ballistics, lasers, missiles. Let's throw up engine power again. Two? Two? Let's go! I can take them on. That's it. Oh, oh shit, they're right in front of me. Okay. Uh, slow down, slow down. Okay, that turning angle's rough. So I'm just gonna boost out of here, try to get a better turning angle. So all power to engines. And they can swivel around. Reverting power back to lasers. And then we fire in on them. Shredding those shields. That's what I'm talking about. And we have a lock. We're maintaining that lock. Missile one, two, three. Power to ballistics. Let's do this. All right. Just fire everything. Why not? They can fire it all at once. All right, that was easy. Easy peasy. We'll get that. Actually, we'll go for the other guy. Obviously, where is he? Where's your little sister? <laughs> okay, he's hitting me quite a bit. But actually, shields are okay looking at it. I'm just going to keep the power up for both. And we'll just fire everything we have at once. In that third person action. Yeah, easy peasy. Oh, critical hit, it told me. Oh, it said we could have docked. Oh, man, I should have actually tried docking. That was easy enough. It didn't actually take any hull damage. I don't think. Let's grab this loot. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Just smash into it. It doesn't hurt the ship, I guess. Where's that other one then? Oh, yeah, it's over there. Just put on engine power. I'll just move towards it. Oh, whoop. Oops. Bit, 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 bit fast on that one, but that's okay. Oh, man. That was pretty fun. So obviously it's just like tutorial easy ships to kill, but still, it's pretty good. Alright, so, star map, travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire system, zoom out again to see all the stars in the settle systems, and then plot a course. Okay, so Vectera, moon of Ancyon, back to system. The Narion system, is it? And then, we can go further back out, yeah. Sweet, oh, we can see Saul, and Alpha Centauri. Okay, so we're going to... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, the little other moon. Crete. And I 
guess we just select the the thing. There we go. Alrighty, it's as easy as that. So, deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Well, I guess we'll just exit out. Hello, Vasco. Whoa. Careful now. Why, why are you... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, this is the, um... It's the demo level, isn't it? I should pretend like I'm Todd Howard. 16 times the detail. Actually, we need to check our inventory just really quickly and just check the equipment, so... Um, make sure we've got the right weapons. Um, hello? Black screen? No? Let's just quit out and go back in. There we go. Couldn't see the weapons for some reason. I haven't actually looked at the statistics of these weapons. Physical damage... We've got mass, their value, fire rate, etc. And then melee. I wasn't very good with the melee. Ripshank looks cool, but Axe is probably better. Alright, we'll just slot the cutter into one of my quick slots. Use that for mining. These guys are totally friendly, right? They seem fine. They're basically rad roaches. Oh yeah, I remember from the demo the uh this thing comes alive, doesn't it? Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Not this one, this one's quite predictable because I've seen it before. <laughs> Press LB to bring up the scanner. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. That's cool. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. So it says 51% over on the left, even though we've gotten just one thing scanned. Is this scanning right now? Creep Stalker. 13% scanned. Do I have to stare at it for a while or do you have to like scan multiple of these? Oh, nope. Chris come alive. Take him down. Sorry for language. Try not to swear too much. Only when it's really warranted. I think that's a fair compromise. <laughs> but generally speaking, I'll, I'll probably cut out most swearing. Um, can we not zoom in with the scanner, no? It says photo mode, bottom right. And, well, I guess well, with this we could zoom in. Looks pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll just head down towards it. That was the last one. The Crete Research Lab. Looks cool. I don't see anybody there though. It looks pretty lifeless. Crete Razor. So again, my survey data doesn't say I've researched any fauna, so you must have to get multiple. I'm clicking scan. It says press A to scan. I'm clicking it. It's not doing anything. You have to be, like, really close, maybe. They seem... not that hostile. I try, I've just, I'm, try, I'm clicking scan, it's not working, so I'm just gonna try to get really right up to them. Maybe you just have to be very close. There we go. Did it. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Get me out of the screen, I kick it out. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't no bugs in this game. Well, I guess that's just like a physics thing. Oh, he gets a crit shot of his asshole. Oh my god, he just bows face put. <laughs> Sorry. He just plunged his face down into the ground. 
I'm getting way too distracted. It's just gonna go back to the facility. Um, I don't really think there's anything out there anyway. Could spend quite a while just running around scanning creatures. Looks like there might be stuff over there. I wonder if there's like a second entrance or anything. There's lead. Is it scanned? Yeah. I'll just head inside. Doors are already open. Getting some vault, sort of Fallout vault vibes from this. this is one of my favorite things from Bethesda, or from Fallout games, really. I was going to say Bethesda games, but really just Fallout games. Exploring abandoned vaults, finding out their story and what happened. It's like my favorite thing. Hoping that we get some of that in this. Some cool star bases like derelict ships or star bases with some fun and interesting stories to tell. Alright, let's head in. Alrighty, I've heard people complain about load times and stuff. They're pretty quick, at least for me, coming in and out of these Carriers, buildings. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Hmm, see, I'm still learning about all these different faction groups and stuff. I should really read a wiki, just to even get a general idea. Reminder, run. Solar Frontiers, Starlocked, and Bad People, Bad Jokes. Knock knock, who's there? Planet, Planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? Oh no. No, no, no. We can't be doing that. Oh, so many things that I want to take with me, bring it back to my ship and put them around the place, you know? Little Zen gardens. I'll take out the assault rifle. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Gross. Gross. Man, that actually really freaked me out. That was well done. They got me. A toxin. Alright. Mmm. More lo fi sci fi screens and stuff. So cool. Let me take my time going through this place. I'm gonna comb it over, see if we find anything good. Be a bit of a loot goblin. Get these lockers and containers and things. Never know. I find a weapon, audio log, bullets. Oh, you actually get a little waypoint system. That's kind of neat. That's cool. No, oh, here we go. Mr. Scientist. He's got Heart Plus Boom Pop Root Beer. Well, here's I'll tell you what happened. The root beer, he shook it, exploded, glass went everywhere, shredded his neck, and he bled out. Yep. That's my hypothesis. Oh. We got some people. Pirates. Be listening in. Choco bites. I'm guessing I can just stealth, right? Doesn't seem like they know I'm here. Quietly open the door. Now I've just got a an assault rifle though, so should I just just Oh well, that works. Oh my god, get the hell away from me. Hit fire is like really accurate. Yeah, starting to get a feel for the gun, starting to get a feel for it. What does she have? An experimental exterminator Grendel. Let's just secure the area, have a quick look around first. Yeah. 
ammo med pack. All right, looks clear. Just pop a heal. It says that it does four health per second over time for 10 seconds, I think. So we just picked up the, there it is, the Exterminator Grendel. Looks like a little, sort of like a P90 kind of thing. Yeah, slot it in there. I'll just replace the axe. I'm not a big melee guy, but may maybe later. Let's try the Solstice we picked up as well. Little energy weapon. And reassign our meds. Alright. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's the exterminator. The Grendel. I love that like flat screen it has on the back of it, the flat colors to say how many bolts are in it, 16. Okay. Win. Oh. Oh no. Terramorph, okay. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Alright, we got a little computer screen here. Let's check it out. New beginnings. So from Hayden Wynn. Oh, so that's who we just heard. I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape that they had to cut through at mast. It was long overdue. And I get to be part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three days. I'm still not sure where I'm going, definitely somewhere in the United Colonies space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. So Hayden win again. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today, what appeared to be an alien form of Lucage Venusata, it's essentially a giant spider. Mickelson in full protective gear attempted to attach the neural control interface. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. <laughs> oh god, a minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. Again, Hayden win. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is the terrifying beast and natural predator, those are both exceptional, wonderful qualities. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard, though it does beg the question. Have the Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Trial failure again from Hayden Wynn. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterwards. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 45, 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled, if not by us, then certainly not by the Free Star Collective. Looks like the marines will have another species collected and dropped off this time next week. More disappointment, another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders, we wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien, Paulson had a difficult time de uh, deciding on a designation, opted for Reptans Veninum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI, these things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. New specimens. So marines dropped another few specimens off this morning, totally unscheduled. The best way to describe them, they're arthropods. Basically giant space lobsters, very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier specimens could be controlled with any reliability, as noted in my earlier logs. Their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect, natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they go on the attack, they're terrifying. Relocation. We're moving! Packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their homeworld. 
We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for their Xeno Warfare division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her being there. Her not being there. I'll give Mickelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He must... He let the masked brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. Right. Well, based on the audio log we heard of him screaming, I mean, it said win in the subtitles. I, uh... I take it he didn't make it. And we're probably gonna have to fight this Terramorph thing. But just keep looting for now. 20 health and 8 carry capacity for 8 minutes. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we have to watch about hitting that limit. Digipick. Alright, our first bit of lock picking. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Hey, so Darren here in the edit. Uh, I'm gonna speed through lock picking every now and then, so that's that's what's happening here. So what do we got? So we have a com relay and credits for 463. And it's 117. Cool. It's alright. Oh, actually, oh right, I was wondering why it's such triumphant music. We leveled up. Oh, this brings back memories uh, on streams. People used to get so mad at me because I would just pick like random perks. Because I just can't be bothered reading everything. I know that's such a terrible thing to say. I'll read these things probably in between episodes, but... I'm fine. Like, I'll just go down a certain category and be, be fine with it. This one looks good to me because it says it gives you a zoom to the scanner and increases distance. That seems to be what I had a problem with, so... Obviously, you can only get the first tier anyway, so this seems totally fine. So, please don't hate me. I'll look through them a bit more in-depth behind the scenes, but uh, for now, just the first layer. I'm sure I can't really go too wrong. Is that the zoom? That's the zoom. Are you kidding me? What kind of zoom is that? Isn't it the year 2300 or something? Shouldn't I be able to zoom into like the atom <laughs> if I want? Wow, I feel like I got played. Grenades, finally. Haven't had one yet. I was actually on, kind of on the lookout for one. And oh, there's actually a guy right there, but we'll just equip this first. Yeah, so just standard frag grenade and fragmentation mine. Both considered throwable. Okay. And we could just stealth here. Could take a shot, but I'm just going to go with the maelstrom again. That did really well last time. It seems like multiple shots count as crit. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, man, last bullet clipped him in the leg. Is that it? Ooh. And the balcony. Throw, throw that grenade up. Let's test it out. Oh, I think it fell down. Oh, I'm sorry. I suck. Oh, damn it. My one grenade. Wow, Vasco's lighting that place up with some lasers. See if you can run around. Wait, there's another guy. Is he <laughs> not aware? Alright, let's swap to the solstice. Let's check this out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> get, get his balls. Laser his balls. Oh, I think it was a, I think it was a, a girl. A lady. Hello? Show yourself. Oh, I think Vasco actually took him out. Yeah. Good job. And we got more scientists. Chunks beef. <laughs> Ooh, not a very flattering way for her to end up. Oh yeah, I assume this is from the Terramorph, right? We can see the claws on the ground, actually. I just assumed the pirates, you know, caused the blood, but it's obvious now that it's the Terramorph. Vasco's been making it kind of difficult to sneak. Can can Captain you can Darren, I give you orders or something now? Indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. 
We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet. You can ask more about what Constellation is. Nothing. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the okay. unknown. Members often engage in expeditions. What is that? What's just happened? Oh no. I can't move. I can't move. Nothing's working. I can't get out of this. <laughs> I'm stuck in dialogue. Escape does nothing. Hello? I think Vasco killed him. Am I dead? I don't know. I can still kind of move the camera. He's not moving though. Can we resume the conversation or... Am I... Is everything good? Or... Well, I think I have to reload. Alright, so I think that's the last of them. So the, the plan was for me to just kind of cut out doing everything the same. I'm pretty much picking up where we left off now, just up on the balcony. Hadn't actually, excuse me, explored this room yet, so... Well, we got an Equinox laser rifle. And that looks like that could be the Terramorph. We can do our fancy zoom in uh, to see it a bit... Oh, I don't think we have the perk, actually. I have to go get that again. Now, you could argue that... Because I wasn't very happy with it, why not get something else? But you gotta keep the timeline, the continuity, man. That's what we chose. And look at that, what a zoom. I feel like Michael Scott the Office, the way he pulls his TV out, like an inch. It's like, that is a $300 zoom, thank you very much. If you can't appreciate that, <laughs> then I don't know what to tell you. The Equinox. So it's not actually a rare weapon, I just thought it was because it was in the box, but it's pretty standard. All right, we'll just slot it in. We'll make use of it. Just test it out. Wow, that is girthy. Takes up a lot of your screen when you ADS. Credits and fiber. At least he died with a good diet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is this? Pharmaceutical lab. Oh right, we can craft things. And we have what we need, fiber and sealant for bandages. Yeah, we'll make a bunch of bandages, why not? Six of them added. Healing paste, snake oil. Penicillin. That's pretty cool. I, I knew there was crafting in the game. I didn't know you do it at like little benches and stuff. And interesting that they're in places like this. Oh, actually, that guy had uh, fiber on him, didn't he? <laughs> so yeah, we could make another one. Or... Treats contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. So interesting. I wonder then, yeah, can you... It doesn't say it heals you, right? It's The other things just say that they heal. That one must actually prevent you bleeding or something. I haven't seen that yet. Is there anything? No. God, Vasco's so annoying. Just stay away from me, man. Dead scientists everywhere. And we got some action. I wonder actually, do I have a grenade? I'll just quickly check. No. We have the frag mines. Hmm. We'll keep those. They could be good against that monster thing. Is there one over here? That doesn't look like it. And what was that actually? Desktop Digiframe. Wow, 200 value. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh yeah, you can see it. The claw marks. We're getting close, I think, to the uh, Terramorph. There's a guy in the balcony. I think he just spotted me, actually. Yeah. There we go. That's one down. That's pretty powerful, actually. Four shots, I think. I could hit him. Where is he? Between the chair there. I think I'm just hitting his arm. Oh. Oh, he like fell down. Alright, I'll switch back to the solstice. There's another one. How are none of What? Oh it's Oh that's That's a bit annoying man. The glass case I think is preventing like you can't shoot through it. I I mean I get it, but that sucks. I noticed that before, that none of the windows can really be broken, I don't think. Is he dead? Oh, Vasco must have got him. Yeah, I was wondering why he gave off his little one-liner there. But yeah, that sucks. I mean, you see some things get destroyed and bounce around, but I feel like windows would be... It'd be nice if you could destroy some of them, at least.
Some of these things are actually worth a decent amount of money, but I just don't want to overload myself too much because. Oh. oh, I didn't know there was anyone left. Oh, he's the guy. He's the guy that from the who fell off earlier. That makes sense. Oh, is this another one? Oh, sorry. I thought Vasco was just firing. Got one more. It's P90. This guy. Let's finish him off. Oh, what the? F just happened. I have no idea. Did is something? Ex uh, did a barrel explode? Was it the wrong hotkey? No, it's correct. Maybe his backpack exploded at the same time. I didn't take really any damage though. So, was it the digi frame? All right, what do we have here? And what is that? It's oh okay. <laughs> it's just Vasco. I don't know how he got up there. And he's just trampling this poor dead scientist with no respect. Credits, digipick, some iron, a computer, Dr. Wynn's emergency slate. All right. And more credits. It was the Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. Never saw that coming. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. Oh, that's Hayden Wynn. So oh, I'm such an idiot. In all of one minute. This is where it ended. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Oh man, poor Dr. Wynn. Um. Let me just sort this out, and then we'll resume. So it's actually a good system, I think. You can undo the locks that you place in a couple of times, but not that many. So it's kind of cool. You have to like forward plan a bit. I like that. It's a nice mini game. Just some ammo, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So he said the uh, Terramorph has gotten loose. Let's see what he had to say in here. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrologists, astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it as Ocesio Machina. Sorry, butchering pronunciation, but roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read the official re record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. And then, today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We'd better make them count. Well, it clearly all went wrong, didn't it? Said something about the NCI flipping out when they installed it. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal. Oh my property. god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me! Oh. Dr. Wynn, emergency slate 2. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. I think I made a mistake with this one. Jake and the Inu Part 2 and the Sword of Damocles. Weird. That was all that was in the safe. We can check them out later. I don't want to stop and do some light reading right now. Maybe it's a reference, actually. I don't really know. The Sword of Damocles. And before we pop out, I'm actually just going to do a little bit of healing. So those are the bandages, yeah. So it doesn't seem like that actually gives me health. Alright. That's good enough. Alright, let's head up. Oh. I thought I'd be outside. I'm guessing we're close, though. Did say roof access. 
And we got the video game thing of giving me health kits and stuff. A corrosive kraken. Some ammo, digipick, and some resources. Three physical damage. Let's check it out. Ah, so it's like a little machine pistol. 150 fire rate, randomly deals corrosive damage and reduces the target's armor over six seconds. Slot it in there. We'll replace our pistol for now and check it out. Yeah, cool. Kind of cyberpunky with the screens on the back of these guns. Alright, here we go. Hello, boys. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new cool. captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Um, that's right, I killed Barrett, so tell your pirate friends to back off. That's a good one. Oh, no, you see... We weren't really after Barrett. No. We're after that okay. ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species so he, of he... ant. <laughs> I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. Yeah, I was going to say, he's like ship. lying for me. Um, cut your losses before people get hurt? We could try the persuasion. You're not talking us out of this score. All right, so to persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Each choice is a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance. You have a limited number of choices you can make. Got it. Um... I want, to take, um, I want to get aggressive. I like this option. I just made it past your entire crew. You really That's want to try your look against me. Not a bad point. Can't believe Boom. <laughs> so there isn't any treasure. That's fine, I guess. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. I don't know what my persuasion get stat is. So. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. Yeah, I don't like his attitude, so screw it. To to <laughs> We're gonna shoot anyway. Let's go. Just smash him while he's on the ground burning. But yeah, we got the... We got the XP for the persuasion, so why not get whatever he's carrying? Oh my god, there's a ship move again. Oh, his shield regenerated really quickly, actually. Switch it out to the rifle. Gotta move back a bit, I'm kind of exposed on the right. Let's try that laser rifle actually again, that did pretty good damage. His shield keeps coming back, so maybe we can take it out with it. Can't quite see him. It's a good spot though, they can't hit me with the stairs. That easily. Oh my god, he's on like 1% health, what's going on? Don't know how to get his shield down, he's just permanently at 50. Is he making a break for it? Yeah, we gotta chase him. There he is. There we go, got him. Man, that was cool. I think he was making a run for the ship. There's two or three pirates up here now. Shut up, Vasco. Nobody cares. Just one, two, three more, I think? Let's get up close and personal. I'll see if I can jump back up here and then jump across. Oh no, close. Oh, sh oh, the ship's taking off. Let's go. Let's just rush it. Oh my god, it's gone so fast. Oh, just rush these guys, I guess. I wonder, was he trying to get on it and because he didn't, they took off, you know? That would be cool. I kind of don't want to know, because <laughs> then I can believe it's possible. I'll pop some meds, let's rush. Yeah, this gun's pretty good, it's really accurate. Stay back! Super accurate hip fire, actually. Alright, let's find that last guy. Is he up on the ridge? Oh, there he is. Couldn't see him in the shadow. Or her. 
Got her. Some ammo. Modified gun. I'm a bit tight on space though, so we'll just leave it. I already have one. Do you take fall damage? Yeah, but not very much. Alright, let's find Brogan. Take whatever he had. There we go. An elemental modified maelstrom. There you go. Long barrel short scope, two additional mods. Uh, not a very flattering position again. Maybe we can try to fix him up a bit here. <laughs> Gracefully roll him down the ramp. A little better, maybe. Fast travel to your ship. Press LB to open the scanner. It's only 300 meters away. I'll just run up to it. Oh, wow. So it does randomly deals corrosive radiation poison and incendiary damage. Interesting. Yeah, we'll swap out our current maelstrom for that. It has a long scope on it. And then we got a modified Grendel. We'll have to see what the differences are later. Uh, let's just check this one out here. Oh, sweet. Oh, and you can hold your breath. Interesting. Almost like a little... Well, not quite a DMR. No fire rates, I guess, so it's still going to be automatic. All right, uh, let's run back to the ship and get the hell out of here. No uh, Terramorph, though. Didn't see him. Very surprised. Maybe we have to come back and see them in the future. All right, here we are. Oh, that was pretty fun. Good little first uh, facility to attack. Alrighty, New Atlantis. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't really know why we're going there. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's go. So, select missions and then direct from there. So, set course. Alpha Centauri, Toliman, jump. It's as easy as that. Entering patrolled area, no contraband on ship. Wait for a s Starship Damn. Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. I have some items in my inventory that have an exclamation mark next to them. I don't know what that means. I thought that meant they were co Scan it was complete. contraband. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing. They say that we don't have any, so. So you still have to select it and then go in. That's kinda weird. Boom. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think everyone knows, but it would be cool to land it yourself, wouldn't it? I know that's a technical leap for this engine, this type of game, but... That really would have pushed it over the edge, I think, for it. It would have gained it a whole point on the 10-point scale. Still cool, though. Just gotta get over it, I guess. New Atlantis, man. Sun's out. Protocol Indigo again. They said again multiple times with that, so I don't know if I'm... You know, number five in terms of people he's picked up and dropped off here. Oh, interesting. Kind of Eastern theme music. Guys, we're going to have to leave it there. We're going to find out in the next episode what's going on at New Atlantis. That's all for me. If you've enjoyed this series, this episode, this first foray into Starfield, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.